These goods are becoming fashionable in Cameroon as years pass by. In the past, it was for the less privileged. Osi, Okrika, Friperi, as they are fondly called, have filled all corners of every street of every town in Cameroon. Most Cameroonians seem to be depending on second-handed goods from Europe, the Americas, and Asia. At first, the only second-handed goods that had a market in Cameroon were dresses and their accessories. The major cities that had the first importers of second handed dresses, shoes, and handbags were Duwala and Bafasam of the Western region. In the late 80s and the epoch of the early 90s, there was plenty immigration from Cameroon to the Americas, Europe and Asia. One of the greatest achievements that fellow Cameroonians abroad have had is that they have gathered what has already been used abroad for a new market in Cameroon for survival. Containers filled with already used goods fill the ports of Douala, and a majority of Cameroonians today totally depend on these sort goods from abroad. <laughs> One other very important reason why Cameroonians had turned to consume more of second-handed goods was because of the devaluation of the CFA in the 90s. The price of European goods imported to Cameroon was automatically doubled, as the devaluation was for 100%. Cameroonian consumers of European goods have ever tested their first quality. All the consume has already been consumed by one person or the other in Europe. <laughs> Topping the charts of these goods from Europe are households and fashion. Less than 10% of the cars on the Cameroonian roads were bought new. It's 6 a.m. on a daily routine in one of the second-handed fashion dress markets in Douala. The place is just ready full. All those present here deal only on second-handed shoes. The business is divided into agents. The importers sell shoes to the first-class retailers who buy in big bills. The first-grade retailers open their bills at this market here in the Kululu neighborhood of Douala. For some other team, the second-grade retailers who come to select their choices from the bills in the morning. After they have their choices in hand, they now move to their own local shops in other markets or move as mobile shoe sellers from door to door.
people move from other regions of the country to come and select shoes from here daily. The highest second class retailers of this market are from the littoral and the southwest regions. For other regions far away from here, retailers usually are the first grade category who prefer to buy and expose bills in their local markets. Bandula mi moro kwa na malalondoi ama wapene kiele ana tobunyai asi upo tujirwe andula miu amori yele ne mama kati bana wo bana meyai ati bana meyai Just beside this market is another, a few meters away, across the street. Here, everyone you see is either retailing or has come to buy and sell bags. There are all sorts of bags here. There exist traveling bags of all sorts, and even the most recent fashion bags for women. School bags, suitcases, computer bags, all second-handed. Some smart owners of first-hand shops move here too daily in the morning to get bags from here and place them in their shops as first-hand bags. They sell as new ones. The business of those who buy in bills is share lock for a lucky bill could have bags which have not been used in Europe before but were sent out to a less privileged shop or store and then brought to Cameroon. These markets operate well in the morning because these things are to be sold throughout the day in other shops or from house to house and street to street. A stone throw from the second-handed back market of Douala is the second-handed trousers market. Here, there are more than a thousand persons involved in the business this morning. It is very interesting. The bill owners stand on high tables beside their bills, selling to those who come to buy to sell. The process here is this. You choose from a distance what you like. It is thrown to you, and if you select it, you throw the money back to the bill owner.
These people here are from all over the country. Some have come from overnight bosses of the West and Northwest regions just to select what they call the first class second handed trousers. The man you see there is a popular fashion seller in town. He is known to have the most recent fashion trademarks. Some mornings, he comes here to pick two to put in his shop. Some of the trousers selected from here are adjusted just beside by the seamstresses and tellers if they have a problem before they are taken to their new consumers. We fix just trousers here that are torn. We just do the packing. So, in a nutshell, every fashion item has its own area. People who are interested rally to buy from the bills to go and sell. As you see, I'm selling sportswear. We have t-shirts, shorts and mini. We have people who get it from the ports to the warehouses. We get them from the warehouses to sell in bales here. They come from Asia, from Korea. People import them from Asia and we go to Mbopi to buy and retail from the bales. Before the devaluation of the CFA and the exodus of Cameroonians to the USA, Europe and Asia, Cameroon had mostly the sort fashion that used to come second-handed, but in a very limited number. After the devaluation and when the so-called bush fallers started visiting home from abroad, refrigerators, gas cookers, television sets, DVDs, lamps and many other items that were only seen new in the shops of those days come already used. 
Pandandula mi moro kwarina malalo noi Ama wapene kiele Wana tobu nyai Pasi hupo bigirwe Andula mi hu Amori yele ne mama kati Bana hu mbana meyei Pati mbana meyei Quand on parle du potato C'est dire ceux qui vont n'est-ce pas en Europe Chercher la marchandise pour leur amener when we talk of importers, they are those who go to get the goods from Europe. When they arrive, we, we, we have retailers who go to the warehouses and buy in huge quantities to come and exhibit in their shop. It could be fridges, gas cookers and electronics. When these wholesalers are finished supplying to retailers, they go back to Europe to get more goods. Et le grossiste, il vend, il revoyage et dit, n'est-ce pas, euh, c'est comme ça que le circuit fonctionne. Et bien, en Europe, euh, des informations que nous avons, c'est que dans les années, n'est-ce pas, les blancs, après avoir utilisé, n'est-ce pas, ils les jetaient. What happens in Europe is that the white, when the white man has finished using something and gets rid of it, our black borders over there pick and gather them up and now sell to our wholesalers who go to export them. Still in Europe, there are other whites who gather these goods in huge quantities and sell to Africans stationed there. These blacks now resell to the wholesalers from Africa and the process continues. Il y a aussi des blancs, il y a des blancs, la majorité, n'est-ce pas, des super grossistes en Europe sont des blancs. C'est-à-dire, euh, ils rassemblent tout ça et ils le revendent à certains noirs qui, ces noirs aussi, revendent encore, n'est-ce pas, à nos fournisseurs, n'est-ce pas, qui, euh, qui vont en Europe acheter. C'est-à-dire, c'est un circuit assez vaste. The second-handed business in Cameroon has been a source of employment to many. Apart from the importers who are on top of the business at the declarants, as they are fondly called, their duty is to follow up the process through which the imported containers carrying the second-handed goods are put off the ports to the markets. There are many others in the line of duty of this activity. It has been six months since I got into this activity and it's due to circumstances in life. My brother called me to help him here after I left school. I replaced my daughter. She was selling second-handed items. When she returned to Europe, I took the relay. I hustled to get goods from door to door from those who bring from Europe. A majority of the cars found on the streets of Cameroon are second-handed. Some were first used in Europe more than 20 years ago. Some of them are fairly used before they were imported to Cameroon. La majeure partie des voitures viennent, n'est-ce pas, d'Europe? Most of the cars come from Europe, Germany, Belgium, Poland also. Consumers come from the north, Yaoundé, the east, west, to look for vehicles here. On appelle une voiture d'occasion à partir de six mois déjà. We can classify a car as second-handed if it has been on the road for six months. But here in Africa, a six-month-old car looks very new. But the truth is you can never compare it with a new car because it's a second-handed. There are second-handed cars that have been moving for more than 10 years. Well, the most recent cars on our roads is about three years old. There are cars of 22 years in the market. There are second-handed cars, and we buy with all the risk involved. In Douala, 
The sight to get second-handed cars is almost everywhere, but to be peculiar, from the entrance to Aqua, from Rong Point Daido to Hotel Nde, right over the Boulevard de Liberté. There are hundreds of second-handed cars here daily, and people come from all over the country, Chad and Central African Republic, to buy. At this second-handed car sales point, there exists this special duty, the broker. They are those who meet the customers face to face. Dans le milieu, on va trouver ce qui joue le rôle d'intermédiaire. In this business, we have those who play the mid middleman's role, the mediator between the owner of the car and the customers. They are called brokers. Some customers say they don't want brokers, but they forget that they can't see the car owners without seeing the brokers. Some think broken is a mockery job. They would move around, but the cars would never show them their owners. Bien, je suis le voisin de mon patron et consoeur. Il va toujours trouver quelqu'un qui va l'orienter vers le The true owners of these cars are usually not found here, at the sale point. They handed the cars to the brokers for a particular price. And the brokers in turn sell on their own price to make a profit. The game of the broker will depend on his ability to convince the client who is willing to buy the car. There are some importers of second-handed cars who do the broking directly themselves. They have opened their private parks. But some of these cars were brought in by Cameroonians living abroad. On going back, usually broke after spending much and flashing out with the car, they need FIFA and so sell the car or get through a broker fairly cheap though it's not on all cases. tombé sur un voyageur, n'est-ce pas, et puis il m'a vendu son véhicule parce qu'il voulait rentrer. Et je l'ai acheté, il a remis à terre, j'ai vendu, j'ai gagné, j'ai gagné grand chose, quoi. Donc, c'est des choses que j'ai pas besoin de vous dire. Sinon, tout le monde penserait que c'est tous les jours qu'on le gagne, et puis chacun aurait serait tenté de venir le faire. Bon, c'est des choses qui ne viennent pas tous les jours. J'ai perdu plus d'un million et demi de francs parce que j'ai acheté un véhicule euh, au kit, enfin, où j'ai subi des anarques euh, policières et euh, subi une complicité des de, de, de bandits. Another person in the second-handed car sales is the owner of the park where the cars are being exposed. The parks vary. Some will take 10,000 francs per month, while others will collect 300 per day. It's a negotiation between the owner of the park and the car seller. There are some of these second-handed cars from Europe which are off the road before they were brought home. Same goes with some of the second-handed households and kitchen equipment which were picked from the European streets. Reasons why there are always repairers beside to repair some of these goods before they go into the shops. That's why it's said that it's luck getting a good item from a second-handed goods shop. All these were brought in because of the devaluation of the CFA in the 90s. 
and most of the importers, especially those who started it, are the most rich in our society today.